it's Scott on a cruise consulting and today I'm answering the question does safe notes in an investment in startups start the QSBS holding period clock and so I'm gonna give you a brief summary of QSBS which is one of the, kind of the last remaining I don't know I don't know what to call it tax shelters out there uh, in the world um, and basically it's, it says that uh, uh, if you own stock in a corporation that's in a, like a very highly specific engineering technology focused industry and you hold that stock for five years and there's a few other requirements, um, you can actually shield $10 million of capital gains or 10x your investment in capital gains and you don't pay taxes on that shield. So it can be a really material amount of savings for people who have like a $10 million gain on a huge startup outcome, especially general partners at venture capital firms. They think about this a lot. The, the normal founders and normal angel investors, yes, everyone cares about Kiosk, but the VCs are professional investors. It's something they think about quite a bit. Um, and so, but it's important. It can actually save you a lot of money. And so there's been a lot of focus lately on this five year holding period and whether uh, safe notes, which is kind of like, a relatively new innovation in startup financing, maybe like five years old, it's kind of like a hybrid between common and rural debt, if that actually qualifies to start the clock. And the punchline is no one actually knows. And the reason is the IRS hasn't really clarified their position really on QSBS much at all, qualified small business stock. They haven't really clarified much at all. Uh, but they certainly haven't clarified safe notes. And so what we've seen over kind of last, I'd probably say like nine months, maybe last year, is the big law firms um, that service startups and some of the big incubators like Y Combinator are now inserting a clause in the safe note documents saying um, something to the fact that for tax purposes, the safe note is to be treated as common stock and the QSBS clock should start immediately upon execution of this. So basically everyone kind of is asserting that safe notes are equivalent to common stock, in which case the, the five-year holding period clock would start, start. But the reality is no one really knows this. There's been no kind of full ruling on this. Um, and so everyone's playing in this gray area. Now there's, especially with like the way the stock market and acquisitions and outcomes are happening right now, I fully expect the IRS to, to clarify this or test it in litigation. So we'll probably know relatively soon. I'm recording this in late uh, uh, September 2021. Um, but there isn't as much guidance as you'd like. So for purposes of the advice I would give a startup or a venture capitalist is everyone should make best efforts, which is kind of like legal language for like doing the best you can, but you're not guaranteeing anything. A startup should always be careful in guaranteeing or what's called repping, represent, representation warranties that they are 100% QSBS compliant because you just never know if something could go wrong or there was redemption that violates that and then you open yourself up to litigation. So always stick the best efforts. Uh, but you know, I think it's I think the law firms and incubators and some of the VCs are doing the right thing um, by inserting this clarification into the documentation. We just don't know if the IRS is gonna recognize that. We won't know it probably for a couple of years, but eventually they'll get around to clarify it. So I hope that helps. Um, and if you have other questions on this or uh, other stock or safe notes or real debt questions, hit us up at cruiseconsulting.com. We're here to help you and we actually enjoy helping you. Take care. Thanks.